Jesus was in pain. And when he was squeezed, the oil of that genuine sorrow came out. And what I want to know, first of all, before we continue, is what's going to come out of you when you get squeezed? That's a good question. You go down to Walmart and you buy Crest. You can't expect that somehow close-ups going to come out when you squeeze it. When you buy Colgate, Pepsi, then it's not going to come out. Whatever it is that is in the tube, the contents that are inside, that's what's going to come out when it gets squeezed. And whatever it is that's in you, whatever it is, whatever it is that's in me, Whatever it is, when we get squeezed and pressed, that's what's going to come out. When the pressure is on you and the circumstances of life begin to squeeze, are words going to come out of you that you don't want the saints to hear? Are attitudes going to be displayed and exhibited that would make God ashamed? Are you going to do something when the pressure comes down that will make folk that know you real well blush? Whatever's inside of you, that's what's going to come out. Amen. When the olive is squeezed, oil comes out. And when we are squeezed, what God wants to come out is the oil of his presence. Oil always represents the spirit of God. And when we are squeezed, if the spirit of God is in us, hello, then the spirit of God is what's going to come out of us. When we are squeezed, love ought to come out. When we are pressed, peace ought to be expressed. When we were crushed, there ought to still be some joy down in there somewhere. I know that it gets tough, but one of the things that oil produces is long suffering. When we get pressed and the oil is in there, we're not going to fly off the handle. So since Jesus was squeezed, and we know that we can expect as we follow in his footsteps to likewise be squeezed, then how is it that we can come out of pressure-packed situations victoriously. We got to do the same thing he did. Are you still here? We're going to be pressed sometimes. We're going to be squeezed sometimes. That's why the wisdom writer said, the race is not given to the swift. And the battle's not going to be won by the strong. Bread's not going to be always won by the person with wisdom. And riches won't be gathered always, always by the one that has skill. Time and chance falls on all men. We're going to be squeezed. So we got to know what to do when the pressure's upon us. If we're going to emerge from pressure-packed situations, if we're going to come out of things that whereby we're in tight, constricted areas and getting squeezed on every side, 
We've got to do what Jesus did. And when Jesus shows us in Gethsemane is that Jesus did not faint under the pressure. Jesus utilized the opportunity that he had to rise up from supper after Judas had already put it into the and after it was already put into the heart of Judas Iscariot to betray Christ, he got up and he took the twelve and went to Gethsemane. And when he got there, he divided down a little further to the inner circle. Everybody not going to understand your sorrow. Yeah. That's right. There are some people that are not equipped to deal with the kind of pain you may be in right now. Amen. You got to know who you can talk to. Yeah. And you got to know who you better not talk to. Yeah. Some things that we bear, there are folk that can't handle it. And there are some folk that just don't know how to keep their mouth closed. So you go around and you're trying to unburden yourself and trying to bear your soul and trying to tell somebody about your pain and trying to express your sorrow. And before you hang up the phone, they're picking up the phone on you. exceeding yes. sorrowful, even unto death. But no matter how much pain we may be in, God still has a way of isolating us. There are still some things we got to go through all by ourselves. Our brothers and our sisters, those that we can confide in, those that we can bear our souls to, still may not understand exactly what it is. So Jesus, even after telling the three, the word says he went a stone's throw further, fell down on his face, and started talking to his father in glory. And what I stopped by to tell you this morning is that when you're in that place of sorrow, when you're locked down, 